Hi. In this video, I would like to explain the concept of a beta minus kind of radioactive decay in a very easy manner. So look, concentrate on that uh, atom out there with four electrons that are revolving, and there is a nucleus with lots of neutrons in yellow color, and only a few protons shown in red color with a plus mark. Now the neutron on the left, one of them, gets converted into a proton, as you can see, and two particles come out of that nucleus. One is a negatively charged electron, and the other is called an antineutrino. Please note that the electron which came out of the nucleus is not one of those four which is orbiting the atom. Let's look at a still image. There's the neutron on the left, a sample neutron, which gets converted into a positively charged proton. It's got converted now, and therefore the particles coming out is an electron shown on the left hand side and one antineutrino on the right hand side. So the number of protons in the nucleus increases by one. Now the question is why should a neutron become a proton? Now this happens in a nucleus like the one we saw, which will be unstable if there are too many neutrons as compared to protons. Suppose we take thorium 23490. There are 90 protons, so that means there are 234 minus 90, that's 144 neutrons. There's a heavy imbalance. This nucleus will want to get some balance. Therefore, the neutrons will want to become protons to try to balance out the two. Similarly, phosphorus also becomes sulfur in a beta emission. As we saw in the animation, when a neutron becomes a proton, it shoots out an electron as well as the anti-neutrino. The electron is negatively charged, the anti-neutrino does not have a charge. And the question is, why does the anti-neutrino come out? Well, that's a complex uh, phenomenon of quantum number, lepton, which has to be maintained, and that's why two particles come out of that uh, emission. As you saw in the animation, I wanted to remind once again that the electron which comes out as a beta particle is not one of those electrons which is orbiting the atom. The electron that comes out in a beta emission is created when the neutron becomes a proton. That should be very, very clear. Let's take a few examples. In the earlier video, we started with uranium-238-92 which decayed to thorium-23490 plus an alpha emission. Uh, in this video, thorium-23490 is also unstable and it decayed to palladium-23491 plus beta minus emission plus an antineutrino. Now the beta minus obviously is called so because an electron with a negatively charged is coming out of that nucleus. Now the question is, is the palladium-23491 stable? That's also not stable because if you do 234 minus 91, you'll land up with a large number of neutrons as compared to the number of protons. Therefore, this also must undergo a decay and that will become uranium-23492. In general, a beta minus decay can be written as X A Z becomes X A Z plus one plus beta minus plus antineutrino. And the X A Z plus one is explained by the fact that the number of protons increases by one, but the overall mass number A does not change because a neutron reduced and became a proton. So proton plus one, neutron minus one, therefore A remains the same. I hope this video was uh, useful for you. Thanks and have a great day.